everyone, my name is Alice. I'm an educator here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium and today we have an exciting video for you. One of the things we love talking about at the aquarium is obviously the ocean because it is full of some of nature's most beautiful and mysterious creatures. One of those iconic animals is the sea turtle. We all love sea turtles and studying sea turtles help us contemplate the beauty and mysteries of nature. So to help promote that, we are going to teach you how to draw a sea turtle today. So grab some drawing materials and draw along with us. All right, so we're gonna draw the sea turtle as if we're looking at it from the top. So we're gonna start with the back and to do this, we'll just have a nice oval shape like this. This is the top of the shell and I like to do a line that goes down the middle. You don't have to do it like that, but that just helps you keep it symmetrical. And we'll also do another oval on the inside like this to kind of start the scale pattern. We'll come back to that later. So there's the top of the shell. And then up here, I'm gonna do another circle about yay big for the head. And then we'll come over here for the first front, front flipper is gonna loop back around like that. And the next front flipper is gonna loop back around like this. And to map out where the back flippers go, I like to kind of do sort of an X motion. Go back like that. There's one flipper back like this. There's another flipper. Sea turtles have flippers instead of legs. This is actually a big difference between turtles and tortoises is turtles are meant adapted to swim whereas tortoises are adapted to walk on land. Since sea turtles live in the sea, they have flippers to help them swim. And then we'll have a nice little nub down here for the tail. Sea turtle tails aren't very long, but typically in males, the tail will actually be a little bit longer than females, which is actually pretty cool. Now we'll connect the head with a nice neck here. Now here's a fun fact with sea turtle heads. They cannot retract back into their shell like other turtles can because of this oval shape. Um, but even though they can't retract back into the shell, this oval shape actually helps them swim better. It's more water dynamic. So here we have the basic shape of the sea turtle and you can start adding scale patterns to the shell and to the head. And you can do this any way you want. But the fun thing with sea turtles, there's seven different species of them. And the way that scientists identify them is actually through this scale pattern. So here, we're gonna do the scale pattern of a green sea turtle. I'm gonna start with this top part here, and that inner part, this is called the nuchal scoot. The scoots are just the scales on the back of the shell. So here's a nuchal scoot, and then I'm gonna do a long oval coming down the whole center of the back to kind of show where these scales are gonna go. There's gonna be five what you call vertebral scoots, and the first one is gonna be Kind of like a trapezoid like this same with the last one but in mirror image and then you just kind of put in three more and there you have the vertebral scoots just like this and you can touch them up and make the lines a little bit darker they don't have to be an exact uniform shape because each individual sea turtle may have slightly different proportions but this is the general pattern a green sea turtle will have. And continuing on with these scoots or these hind scales here, um, in addition to these vertebral scoots, green sea turtles have four pairs of costal scoots. So you see how on this side I have one, two, three, four. And it'll be the same on the other side. One, two, three, four. But notice that the costal scoots, these top ones, do not touch this nuchal scoot. And this is something that helps identify green sea turtles is that these side scoots do not touch this little scale up here. Now green sea turtles will also have scales up on their head. So first I'm gonna just make it little, oh, tiny ovals like this trying to signify the eyes. And then what they will have are prefrontal scales, one pair or two scales like this on the top of their heads. And that is something green sea turtles have. And you can also add other scales like this sort of behind the eyes like this and different individuals will have different patterns so you can make this part up but as long as it has these two it's a green sea turtle and then you can continue adding texture and details to the rest of your sea turtle a good way to do scales is something where you just do overlapping loops like this and green sea turtles are also called green sea turtles because of their diet 
they actually start to get green in their skin. And so to sort of signify that dark greening, you can do a little bit of shading like this, a little cross hatching. Let's give it some texture, especially if you do it over the scales. It has a really cool effect like this. And also since turtle shells arch like this in the back, you can show how the light plays on the back like this, where you kind of shade the sides in so that it looks like it's curving downward, like a real sea turtle. Now you don't have to do the scale patterns exactly like this. If you want to make up your own sea turtle, that's great. Or if you want to look up the scale patterns of any of the other six species, go for it. But this is how you do a general sea turtle and how the scale pattern looks on a green sea turtle. I hope you guys enjoyed this drawing video. Feel free to draw along and show us some of your cool sea turtle art. This is a great way to help bring nature closer to home in a way that doesn't negatively impact habitats like where sea turtles live. And in fact, this can also bring to attention the positive ways we can impact sea turtle environments. Uh, for instance, using sustainable materials that can be reused or by sourcing sustainable seafood with something like the Seafood Watch Guide, which you can download for free to your smartphone. Some sea turtles will eat fish and they need to have enough fish left in the wild for them to be able to eat. And also sustainable seafood practices help harvest seafood in such a way that it doesn't harm other animals such as sea turtles. So those are some very simple things we can do to help contemplate the beauty and mysteries of nature in a very positive way, even here from Utah. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoy drawing your sea turtles.